Now there I've templated the, for the BMHR and here I'm positioning the implant more proximally than one would normally do. I'm using every drop of bone that he's got in his head to gain length in his leg and I'm going to sculpture the femoral head at surgery and turn what was femoral head into femoral neck and that worked very well you can see his post-operative film and there on the two-month x-ray you can already see that what was sculptured femoral head bone now is developing a cortex and turning into a new femoral neck for this patient and he is very pleased with his surgery a simpler situation here a patient a young patient who wanted a Birmingham hip resurfacing but he had cysts in the summit and in the superlateral aspect of his eroded femoral head just not suitable for a Birmingham hip resurfacing and instead I was able to do a BMHR and you can see there we have kept this implant system for this young man conservative but at the same time I have been able to deal with really bad bone in his femoral head so we now have uh, great hopes for the BMHR implant I've only been doing it just short of uh, four years I've done about 40 uh, implants so far but uh, no one has had a failure and uh, it's going to be very interesting to develop our experience with this implant over the next few years. Thank you for your attention.